Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video I am going to be sharing with you everything that I'm packing in my hospital bag and my baby's hospital bag. So I am, here's a little bump shot. I am currently 36 and I think four or five days pregnant and going to be induced at 38 weeks as of right now. Um, my blood pressure is spiking up like it did last time. So at least it started earlier, so I'm more prepared. But I've got the bags packed. That kind of really put me in the let's get all the nesting done, do all the things just in case it ends up being sooner than 38 weeks. But as of right now, we only have like less than two weeks to go till we meet baby boy. So I am going to be sharing with you everything that I'm packing in the hospital bag. I'm definitely somebody that tends to be more of an overpacker, but I think I've got like everything that I'll actually need and I think I will use everything that I'm gonna pack. There's a lot of things that I'm leaving out because the hospital will provide me with so many things, like not packing any diapers, not packing any wipes, no postpartum supplies, because last time they provided all of that. Um, I would definitely call your hospital if you're a first time mom or haven't delivered at that hospital before and ask them what they provide you. Um, it just saves so much space and you're paying for it anyway, so utilize what they bring you. But yes, we'll go ahead and get started. I will have everything linked in the description below in the order that I talk about them so it's super easy for you guys to find. And I hope you guys find this helpful. We'll go ahead and get started with my bag first and then move on to babies. I am dying of heat right now. Um, our house doesn't have central AC, so we do like units in the rooms that we're in a lot. Um, this boys' room does not have a unit yet, so I am actually dying. So this right here is my hospital bag. This is like the, I think it's the weekend traveler bag. I don't know. I think I might have just made that up, but it is from Target. I will definitely link it down below. It's sold out quite a bit. But this is just the perfect bag. I love the look of it, love the aesthetic, but it also just holds so much and it's very good quality. So I got all my stuff in here and then my husband has his own bag. So I didn't put both of ours together, but we'll go ahead and jump right in. First, I like that this, you can carry it like this, but then it also has the like crossbody strap that you can attach to it. First, I just have this bag and in here I have my nursing bras, um, I packed quite a few just because I'm not sure which ones I'm going to like the best and which will fit me best. Um, one is more of like a structured one from H&M, it's the mama nursing bra. This one I'll probably wear like going home just because it is more structured. Um, then I just have this top, it's not even a nursing one, but I think I'll wear this while like laboring in the tub or in the shower just because it can get wet. And then I have this like two pack, just super comfy, no padding, no underwire ones from Target. So these will be good just when I'm going to sleep and lounging in the hospital. So have a bag with all of the nursing bras. Then this is definitely not needed, but just because I wanted to kind of treat myself last time when I was laboring, I just had a, just had a button up really soft nightgown from Target. Um, I didn't wear the hospital gown. So this time I have like a labor and delivery gown that will just be comfy postpartum too. It's just kind of like a nightgown. It was supposed to be like a brown taupe color from Amazon, but it ended up being this like wheat kind of tan color. So not my favorite color, but I'm gonna try it. And it's like so incredibly soft. So I'm excited to wear this. Just good to have something that makes you feel better than the hospital gown, but still allows the nurses and your provider to have access for surgical exams, all the things. Also, definitely important to have just comfy PJ sets. This one is from Target. It is a button down, so very accessible for nursing. It's long sleeve um, and the pants are long, which for me, I get cold really easily. I know I just said I'm hot, but anytime there's like AC, I get cold. <laughs> so bring the long sleeve set. Now I have this pretty much same pattern nightgown from Target. This is the button up and down, um, just a really soft, comfy nightgown. So I'll definitely be wearing this. It might even wear this while laboring. We shall see. Lastly for clothes, this I think might be like my coming home outfit. I don't officially have the coming home outfit in here yet, but these are just these really soft, comfortable, stretchy pants from Target. So I have a gray version and a black one. Um, 
So I know these will fit the postpartum belly because I wear these even now when I'm pregnant. Um, I don't really, I'm just going to go right home after I leave the hospital. So it doesn't have to be like, you know, a really cute fancy outfit. I just want to like feel good but still be very comfortable. And then I just have this like black little lounge top that I could pair with either one of those pants. I think I went minimal on the clothes. I tried to be as minimal as possible. Then here I have my toiletry bag. This one is super cute. You can get it on Amazon, but I also got this one at Timu. So I just have some of my basic toiletries in here. I'll go through them real quick. I um, have my mini toothpaste and toothbrush, a hairbrush, mini deodorant, contact case, and a travel size solution. Chapstick, definitely necessary. The hospital is so dry, so I put on chapstick all the time. This is my favorite one from Laneige. Then I have glasses. I hardly ever wear my glasses. I'm always wearing contacts, but just in case of like a cesarean needed, I know they make you take your glass, your contacts off. So I'm passing it just in case. And then also in here, I just have this little container that has my um, face, face lotion in it. This has my makeup remover. And then I'm packing like a hair clip and some hair ties and then just a travel sized body hairspray um, just if I want like if I want to smell good when I'm leaving. I also have another bag with my like shampoo and stuff which I'll show you. Okay then I have this little set and I put my um, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, face wash all in here. This is the super cute like neutral um, little travel set I got from Timu really like it super good quality so far um, and it was really cheap so put all of my like liquid cleaning shower items in there and then I will have a makeup bag just with kind of like the basic makeup I do like to do my makeup before um, just because I like to like feel good when I'm laboring so just something basic but I'll have a separate bag with my makeup that I'll probably pack like the night before the induction or in the morning of so okay another thing that I have in here is just this really soft Serenoni blanket this is gonna be um, for baby but I didn't have room in his little bag so I just shoved this in our bag but this is like a it's still a smaller size but it's bigger than like the Serenoni little mini one that I am bringing but will just go in his car seat so this is more so when I'm like holding him nursing stuff like that all right and then i'm also bringing this robe just so that i can lounge in it um this is from parachute it's just the waffle knit robe love this so much it's so comfy you feel good in it i definitely recommend getting something like this definitely for postpartum at home but if you want to bring it to the hospital as well i recommend getting something like this so this is a little thick and bulky and takes up space um so it's definitely not like needed but i wanted to bring it Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but that's kind of how it's looking. And then there is like a zipper section here and then a section in the front. You can't see, but it's like two little slots. And so in those slots, I just have a 10 foot long phone charger. Um, definitely need a long charger because, because the outlets are far away from the bed so, so that you can charge your phone while still using it. Definitely get a long cord. Um, and then I also have my... AirPods in here. Then in the zipper pocket, I don't know if I'll even be able to use this, but I'm just going to bring my Kindle. Um, so I have that. And then I have some snacks. I'll pack more, but right now I just have these little like waffle cone snacks. These are like my guilty pleasure. So I'll probably do something like goldfish, Cheez Its, these, um, granola bar, trail mix, just little snacks. And then I also put just some disinfecting wipes. I don't know. I got these recently and I love the Clorox Fresh, Fresh scent. It smells so, so freaking good to me. Like, I don't know if it's just a pregnancy thing, but oh, it smells so good. It makes me just want to clean everything. So, bringing this. So that is it for my bag. And then there's other like various things that I'll bring as well that I'll show you. So I'm going to definitely bring my Stanley water bottle. I know the hospital provides you with a cup, which I do like their cups there, but this one just keeps your ice cold longer. So 
I love this one, so I'm going to bring it. Another thing that I haven't packed yet is I'm going to bring a folder just to put all of like the paperwork in um, just so it doesn't get disorganized or like crumpled at the bottom of the bag. So I'll bring that and then I'm also going to bring some like those plastic Birkenstock dupes um, that I'll just use to, pr I'll probably just wear that to the hospital and I'll also use that as like my shower shoes. Um, so I'm going to bring those. I am somebody that anytime I go somewhere to spend the night, I always bring my own blanket and my own pillow. It just makes me feel more comfortable, makes me feel at home, and I sleep a lot better. So I just bought this blanket just for the hospital specifically because I did that last time and I still use that blanket, but now I was like, okay, it's time to get a different one. I've been eyeing this one. I just love the like checkerboard look. So I got this one. It's that super soft kind of the like um, barefoot dream style love it so much this is from amazon it was like 30 dollars i'm really excited to use this i'm holding off until we go to the hospital but packing this and then my own pillow as well then some stuff that we'll bring but probably just leave in the trunk until i'm officially on the um, postpartum unit is stuff for like nursing and baby specifically so this is our boppy definitely going to bring this it just you put it around yourself like this and then it's just easier to hold baby especially when they're so small and just trying to nurse at the beginning um it's just easier to have this boppy so definitely going to be bringing this then i'll also bring my pump with me um i have this spectra pump and then i also have the um it's called the zomi i got that sent to me by insurance for this pregnancy and it's like a wearable pump so i don't know which one i'll bring i think i'll probably just do the spectra um this time so definitely we'll be packing that oh yeah i have this in baby's bag but i'll have some nipple shields just in case i need that this time some nipple butter and the lv curve which i don't even know if i'll end up needing this because this is to catch letdown and my milk last time didn't come come in until i was at home like i was just getting little drops of colostrum which i think this time will be different because i just like pumped a little bit just to see and i got a good amount of colostrum so hopefully I'll be able to actually get something when I pump at the hospital this time but I'll bring those just in case and use the nipple butter every time you pump um, and after you breastfeed so you just can prevent getting chapped cracked bleeding nipples I didn't at all last time I attribute that a lot because I had to use a nipple shield but also because I use this nipple cream all the time now that I have this out we'll move on to baby's bag so for him, I have this bag that has just like a lot of different things in it. So I'll go through this first. This bag is super cute. I think you can buy it on Amazon, but I got this on Timu. So in here I have his burp cloth. So I just have a like a taupe one and a white one. I also have his um, clothes in here. Probably a little bit overboard on the clothes, but I didn't know like what specific size and what was going to fit. And I want to make sure I have something that I really like that actually will fit him. This is this little outfit from Modern Moments from Walmart. This is like a stretchy bamboo um, sleeper. This is a preemie size. So just in case he is tiny, which Mia was, I want something that he can fit in. So I'm going to bring this. And then this is just a love baby sleeper. This is their like premium to newborn size, so four to seven pounds. So I'll bring that. And then this is a newborn sleeper that I had originally bought to be his outfit for his announcement pictures. But I don't know, it's just kind of big, so we'll see if this one fits. I bought that specifically for his announcement picture, so I'm going to bring it. Then also bringing his name sign. I think it's been revealed in another video, but I'm still like not sharing it. I don't know. I don't really care that much, but <laughs> I'm not going to share in this video. So bringing the name sign. And then here are some like potential coming home outfits or for the announcement picture. So I just have a Lulu and Co set. This is just like a ribbed kind of tan one, the size newborn. And then this is a two piece rib set from H&M. This is their preemie size, so hopefully this one will fit him. And then in the bottom of here, I just have some various different pacifiers. I'm not sure which one he'll take, so I have the bibs one. This is like a, a nuke one, and it's more flat, which I found Amelia liked when she was a newborn. Um, then this like big nipple, she just kind of liked the flatter one. And then this one is from nuke as well and it has kind of like that flat nipple so bringing these three different pacifiers um, 
so we can see which one he likes. I don't know if I'll use a pacifier right away in the hospital, but I like to have the option. And then this is by Itsy Bitsy. It's just this little moon, like you can put this on your pacifier. I thought this would be cute for pictures, so I'm just gonna bring that. And then we also have some hats for baby boy. So I have a lot of different ones depending on what outfit he's gonna wear, um, but these are just from Lulu and Co. So just a little cute striped one, another striped one, and then a, like, what color is this? Burnt orange? I don't know. <laughs> that, and then this is like an actual little beanie by Slouch. So gonna bring all those and see which ones fit him best. So that's everything in this little pouch. Then I'm gonna bring a swaddle for him. So I have two different options. For my daughter, we use the Halo swaddle in the hospital, so I'm gonna bring this one for him. But then we also love the Ollie for my daughter, but didn't use that until later. Um, so I don't know if it's good for like the newborn phase, but I'm gonna bring it just in case. So bring the Ollie and then the Halo as well and see which one he likes better. And then just two different options for little swaddle blankets. So this one is a really like stretchy soft bamboo one. Love this one so much. And then this is a muslin one and that cute checkerboard print. And then like I said, I also have this Serenoni little mini blanket. This one is just really nice to put in the car seat because it's so small. So definitely have a good amount of blankets, but I want to have some options. <laughs> and dependent on his outfit, I'll use one of those blankets in the little um, hospital bassinet. I'll lay that down as kind of like the crib sheet so it has a cute base for his pictures. And then this I'm bringing for sure. This is a must have for us. It is the Vava um, nightlight. So let me turn it on real quick. But this is something that you just have to turn on and you can dim it. And it's just super nice in the hospital so that you don't have to turn on like the bright overhead lights. So definitely going to use this. I didn't bring this last time, um, but I use this postpartum all the time for the late night feeds. So definitely going to bring this. Okay, and then in this zipper compartment here, I have a sound machine. This is definitely a must to drown out all of the hospital beeping, nurses coming in, stuff like that. This will just help baby sleep, help you and your um, husband sleep. So... Definitely can't forget this. I'm going to bring the charger as well because if it dies, I'll be very upset. I don't know if we'll do like his first bath there, but I just have this little scalp scrubby, like a little hairbrush um, that will be good for his bath. And then to go along with the bath, I have some of the Noodle and Boo Extra jump, Gentle Shampoo and then also a body wash and I'll bring a lotion as well. And then this is just from our diaper bag, but it is just a changing pad. So... I'll probably do the changes like in his little bassinet, but I wanted to bring that just in case I needed it. So that is everything in his bag. So that is everything that I am packing for our hospital stay for our labor and delivery with baby boy. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, and hopefully can use some of these tips if you're packing your bag. I love watching these while I was packing my bag. I've watched so many <laughs> hospital bag videos. So I think I have a pretty good idea of what we're actually gonna need. Um, so yeah, hope you guys like this video and I'll see you soon, probably with the baby. <laughs> see you guys.